Since gaining independence 63 years ago, Nigeria became the largest sovereign black power with its own share of socio-economic and political struggles. Amidst these odds, the country strives to rededicate to task with hopes of the world awaiting the greatness of Nigeria's collective efforts to take its rightful place in history. I only want to, to also appeal to Nigeria that we should be able to continue to pray for Nigeria, we should be able to continue to sacrifice for Nigeria. And I know that there will be light at the end of the tunnel. Nigeria can be greater, and I know Nigeria will be greater. Thank you. This future is one which the Muslim Congress say it is poised to feature prominently through unwavering dedication anchored on the principles of Islam. This event calls for reflection on our journey, recognition, and our achievements, and a renewed commitment to the values that have defined us all as a collective. Guest speakers, Sheikhs Tajuddin Adigumbello and Musa Olaofe, both represented, spoke on the team towards national stability, growth, and prosperity. The scholars echoed the need for Nigerians to tolerate each other, irrespective of tongue, creed, or religious inclination for the nation to thrive on shared values and goals. We need to show love to this, our dear nation. Allah has wisdom for making us Nigerians. Different tribes, different uh, regions, and so on. We should see ourselves as a single body. Various parts of which must contribute for the well-being of that body. Stakeholders, especially religious leaders and traditional leaders, they should know that they are responsible for telling the government the truth anytime they have the opportunity because the government listens to them. The government should be inclusive in nature. Everyone should be carried along. Since the last one decade, the annual lecture has been a platform for the Muslim Congress to impact the shaping of societal life through engendering of intellectual and spiritual integration. Onotu Yakobo, NTA News.